brain best receives and processes information or your preferred learning style will help you to better understand, organize, and remember information. There are three different types of learning styles. Visual learning, auditory learning, and kinesthetic learning. Let's learn more about them. So the first is visual learning. Visual learners learn by seeing illustrations and presentations in color, like symbols and note cards to help them remember info. Um, they're also prone to visual distractions. Visual learners learn by seeing information. They take detailed notes and they benefit from illustrations and presentations. Reading or organizing notes helps me learn. Yeah, okay. Here's a tip that we found works for auditory learners. I got a reading a lot. Problem. College students Hearing today. text read aloud makes students easier students to understand, understand and approximately 85%. Use alcohol in small percentage. Whom are you the highest binge drinkers? Five or more drinks at one sitting. Drink while under the legal age or drive under the influence. Kinesthetic learners or tactile learners learn best by doing, touching, and feeling things such as typing and rewriting. They type out pieces to help them remember information and chew gum or tap their feet to stay focused. Myth number one. There's only one way to study because we all learn the same. Yeah, I think that is right. Yeah, I think That's so. right. Yeah. I don't really understand. He did tell us. Yeah. What is he doing? Johnny. Uh, what are you doing? What, what are studying. You? Studying. No, like yeah. How are you studying with your headphones? headphones in? I can study with music. What's wrong with you? No, uh, there's really, only one really way to study. study. Nah, it ain't just one way. I can study with music on. Not tripping. Myth number two. I can't get anything out of this class because I can't even learn from the professor. Myth number three. I can study for 24 hours a day and still not succeed. <sighs> We've been studying for hours, Jordan. We're not it's, We're saying, not going to get any smarter. Like we're crap. not going to pass the test. I cannot understand it doesn't even, Look at that. Clue, we're we're top, we could look at this all day, but we would never understand this. Never. So we're just wasting our time. Is that a shoe? Good. <laughs> In high school, I didn't have to study as much. So in college, I don't have to study as much again. Because I'm that good. Right. I don't have to study for college because I didn't have to study in high school. And I got all A's. Myth number five. The instructor will tell us all we need to know. I don't need to buy the book. Y'all, y'all getting books for that class? No, man. I don't need no books. Yeah, I can't even. I ain't got no money. Yeah, we just listen to the lectures and stuff. I'm paying child support. Like, everybody told me before, you don't need the book. You don't need it. The, that professor guard thing in the book. So, I mean, this one I'm going to Yeah. Yeah. And you got to pay for your kids. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, man. How old is she, anyway? Six months. Ooh. Like, you just can't afford it. Yeah, man. You can stop, because I'm... Note-taking. Note-taking during a lecture is extremely important. Lectures happen once, and it may be hard to ask for a professor to repeat something in an auditorium. It's very important to know someone in the extra credit lecture. All you have to do is to raise your hand and ask me to speak up. There are a few tips that you should follow when taking notes during a lecture. You should develop a system to organize your notes. Uh, the third class. point is that as several of you mentioned uh, that you felt with the readings and the instructor and the lectures to were not PowerPoint kind of that we're repeating using. the same stuff. And I told you about that early on, the beginning of the class. If 
I repeat, what is on your, in your textbook, there's no point for you. And uh, uh, it's well worth watching. This is part Additionally, three. you should well, use the outline to avoid then taking down that, information that may not be important. Discussion on the box Listen for today, repetition and keywords to find today. out what may be on and the next maybe, exam. Like now, You'll be able to do so. We'll start on weapons of mass destruction, which is the next item on the agenda. For the math quiz on Wednesday, it's easiest to forget information right after a lecture, so you should plan a review as quick as possible. So that people who don't have to retake it can leave at the end. Look at different note-taking styles, such as Cornell notes, to find a method that works best for you. Thank you. That's the end. And for more questions, you should meet with your professors during their office hours.